The interesting thing about this whole thing is last night. Yeah. What had you? What happened last night? Last night I broke down, and I asked God, "Please, can I meet you in a human form?" Basically, mm. it was just like, you know, just being blinded, I guess, mm -hmm. by how how I, how I've been living. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think is making you cry out to the Lord? I almost died three times. You know, wow. I, I sh my mom said I should be dead. Because think about it, my dad ran over my head when I was three, but it was raining, so my head went into the mud. Wow. And he, the car didn't run over, it just pushed my head into the mud. Wow. Then the next, last time, people actually busted in my house and tried to beat me to death. And I remember that. Uh, and the third time, I'm, I was doing a bunch of crystal meth. I almost had a heart attack. Why am I here? Like, if you save me those three times, what do you want? Because I'm doing bad. You know, I'm doing so bad. Why are you? Why'd you spare me? I don't know. I'm just looking for an answer. I asked God, you know, what do you want me to do? Like, because you know, I've seen a lot of stuff. And last night, I just, you know, I cried and I was like, show me something. You know, I, I wish I could meet you in some way, shape, or form. So today, I was looking for it. It's Friday night. Beautiful outside today. Friday night and um, what we're doing tonight is going to be really neat. Well, actually, we're going to have a guest. Um, the guy that was on the way to Master Radio, Augustus. It should bring you great joy in your conscience to know that you can have your conscience cleansed tonight. You can know that if you will call on the Lord Jesus Christ with a pure childlike faith and you're willing to follow Him, and I mean willing to follow Him, willing to turn away from sin and embrace Christ, you can have your cleanse, you can have your conscience cleansed from works, from dead works. Mm -hmm. And you know what you have to give up in your life. I mean, you know that you have to turn to Christ and be committed to follow Him yeah. in humble repentant, childlike faith. Ed, Ed, real quick, what's, hap what's, um, what's happening out there? Because we're, we're well, at church, it's Friday night, what's um, going on, Ed? Well, I guess um, he just really thinks it's a divine appointment. Everything that we've been talking about, it seems like uh, he's been coming, you know, like coming to the Lord, I guess. He just says that all these circumstances led him to really acknowledge his sin, and he's, I guess he's trying to repent of his sins and come to faith in Christ. Um, he just really feels a sense of Christ and lead him to, to, to faith in him. And right back there, I don't know if, if we all can see. I'm going to zoom in slowly. But um, Augustus, he's not the one in the white. He's the one right behind there. He's, they're coming right now. There he is. This is, this is it. So. It's like I got I to gotta go, man, because how could I not after he answered that totally? Unless, you know, I didn't mean it, but I did mean it. I did mean it. I want to tell y'all, you know, show y'all that, you know, yeah. he meant to, or I meant what I said. So here I am. So, bro, keep on reading in the Bible, Read keep the studying the word, seeking after God, getting the book of John. We're here for anything you need. Love you, man. Straight out. This love in this church, dude. Yeah. <laughs>